Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to import data from Microsoft Excel, CSV files, and fixed width text files into your Microsoft Access database. And later on in the extended cut, I'm going to show you how to import text files that might be larger than two gigabytes. Today's question comes from John from Koppel, Texas, one of my five-year developer students. John says, I need to import a very large file that I received from a client. It's a fixed width text file. How can I get that data into Microsoft Access? Well, John, importing data into Microsoft Access is pretty straightforward. Let me show you how it's done. When it comes to importing data, there are three popular file formats that you're going to find. There are Excel files, CSV files, which are basically text files. CSV stands for comma separated values. And then you've got basic text files. Usually you'll find them, if they're not comma separated, they'll be fixed width. Let me show you what they look like. Here's a basic Excel sheet. Okay, you've all probably worked with Excel before. I put together a real simple sheet here. First name, last name, phone number. Okay, here's a CSV file. All right, there it is, simple text. And you can see that each item is separated by a comma. I snuck a comma into Jean-Luc because I wanted to show you that if there's a comma in the data, in the text, it'll usually be surrounded by quotes. Okay, and that's something that you usually don't have to worry about. Usually the program that does the exporting for you will do that. And the last file type that you usually find when it comes to text is fixed width text. Now, this is an older format, but surprisingly, a lot of places, especially government agencies, still use this. Okay, it's just a text file, and they tell you how many characters across each field goes. All right, this one might be 15, this one might be 30, this one might be 8, whatever. All right, usually they give you a file specification that says first name is this many characters, last name is this many characters, and so on. Okay, John got a big fixed width text file. All right, so we'll talk more about that in a few minutes. But let's see how we can import all three of these different types into our database. Here's a copy of my Tech Help free template. This is a free database. You can download a copy of it from my website if you want to, but you can do this with any database that you want. Okay, go to the External Data tab, and over here under Import and Link, drop this down. There's all kinds of different file formats. We're going to pick Excel first. We're going to go to From File and then Excel. You've got a couple options here. You can import the source data into a new table in the current database. You can append a copy of the records to a table. This is handy if you get regular updates from someone else. In fact, I have another video where I show you how to import data from like your vendor and update pricing. That's a different video. I'll put a link down below in the links section. And then the third option is you can link to the data source and create a linked table. This is good if you've got a spreadsheet, for example, on your network that other people update. You can link to it, and then your Access database will just treat that as a table. I'll cover that in a future video. But for now, John just wants to get this data into his database. So we'll just pick Import, hit Browse. There's my file on my desktop, phonelist.xlsx. Hit Open. Now click OK. All right, the Import Spreadsheet Wizard starts up. This is a good wizard. First checkbox here says, first row contains column headings. Yeah, this one does. Check it off if it doesn't. See, if you, if you turn that off, it will import that as the first row, as the first record. All right, hit next. Now you can go down and specify each field that you want to import. And if you want to, you can change the field name. As you know, if you've taken my Access Beginner 1 class, I don't like spaces in my field name. So you can get rid of those right here. All right, first name, data type short text, index no. If you don't want to import this field, because sometimes there's going to be fields in here that you don't care about. All right, that happens all the time. You can turn that off and it won't import that field. But in this case, we do want that one. All right, go to the next field, click right here. Get rid of that last name. All right, and then go to phone. Now, it's going to try and import this as a double because it sees a number here. But again, if you've taken my Access Beginner 1 class, phone numbers should be imported as text. So we'll pick short text. Okay, hit next. All right, do you want to let Access add a primary key? It'll just add an auto number in the front. That's fine. If there's already some kind of a key in here, you can just, you know, specify the primary key field. But in this case, we don't have one. Next. All right, import to table. We'll call this phone list T. And then click on finish. 
All right, now this thing happens. If this is an import that you plan on doing on a regular basis, you can actually save the import steps so that you just have to click one thing to rerun an old import. But in this case, we'll just say close. I cover that in my full classes. All right, so there's my phone list T right there. Open it up. There you go. There's your data. All right, right click, design view. That's what it creates. All right, let's try the other two. Let's delete that phone list. Right click and then delete. You sure? Yeah, go away. All right, let's try the fixed width text file. External data, new data source, from file, text file. Okay, again, browse for the file. I got two of them. Let's start with the CSV version. Hit open, and then OK. This one's a little bit different. You got delimited or fixed width. This one is delimited. There's delimiters, commas. All right, sometimes you'll see a tab delimited file too. All right. There are all kinds of advanced options down here, and I cover these in my full class, but you can change the delimiter, the text qualifier, all this kinds of stuff. All right. Next. Now, this one kind of confused the import routine because notice, remember, I put a comma inside of Jean-Luc there. Okay. So you might want to put over here text qualifier, double quotes like that. See? And now it's going to ignore that comma because it's inside of double quotes. And for this one, don't forget to click on first row contains the field names. Okay. Here you could also change the delimiter if you want to, semicolon, tab, space. All right. Next. You can do the same thing here, right? First name, get rid of that. Last name, get rid of that. And again, we'll change phone to short text. And then next, add a primary key. And phone list T, finish. All right, not going to save the import steps and close. And it's the same thing. Okay, Whoop. okay, here we go. Okay, we got one more to do. Let's delete this one. All right, external data, new data source from file, text. We're going to browse. We're going to pick our phone list.txt file. This is the fixed width file. All right, hit OK. Now it comes in like this. It guessed fixed width correctly. All right, the fields are aligned in columns with spaces between each field. Don't use tabs in here, by the way. If you're creating this file, you got to have space characters in there. All right, next. Now, Access usually does a pretty good job of lining up where the columns start. If these are wrong, you can drag this little bar here and put it where you want it to be. All right, but that's good. Next. All right, do the same stuff here. Now, here, it's got field one, field two, field three, because this file didn't have a uh, the, the header information. All right, I did that to specifically remove the headers from that file. So you have to come up here now and put in first name. All right, next, last name, next, and phone. And this time again, it sees long integer. Let's change it back to short text. Next, add a primary key, next, and phone list T, and finish. And there we go. And yeah, take a look at this. Sometimes it goofs. It's not perfect. Text files are not perfect, folks. Look at that. It put an extra space in there in front of my name, and it's missing the last digit of the phone number. See? You got to watch this stuff like a hawk. And there's a reason why they don't really use text files anymore to store data, because they're not reliable. All right, I went back and double-checked it. Let's see. Let's open up this file here. Right-click. Open with Notepad. And yeah, the file looks fine. Sometimes you might get like a tab character or something stuck in there and it messes up the import. But now the file is fine. Access just messed up the import. It happens sometimes. That's why I personally don't like fixed with text files. They really haven't been used, I mean, for like modern stuff since like the 80s. So, <laughs> okay, so that is how you do a simple import with Excel, with delimited text, and with fixed with text. Now, John's problem, and the real reason he came to me is because he's got a gigantic fixed width text file that he got from his client. It's over three gigabytes in size. So we can't import it directly into Access because it's too large. All right, so we have to find a different way to import that. We're going to use some VBA code. We're going to read that file line by line and loop through it and add each record. Fortunately, John doesn't need all of the fields. He only needs a couple of them. 
And the reason why this file is three gigabytes in size is because most of it is empty wasted space, right? If you reserve 70 characters in a fixed width file for the address and you only need on average, let's say 20 of them, that's a ton of wasted space. I'm betting that at least 70% of this file is just empty space. So in the extended cut for the members, John, I'm going to show you how to use a VBA loop to import this file line by line. How do you become a member? Click the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full length courses found on my website and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my Tech Help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free Access Beginner Level 1 course, more of my tech help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from AccessLearningZone.com.